Explaining Koro Matsukami. Koro Matsukami is known as the second strongest genjutsu in the series. And the only thing that tops it is the infinite Tsukiyumi. You know, the jutsu that pit the whole fan base through the most painful filler arc ever. This won't be forgiven, Kishimoto. Anyways, there's a reason why Koro Matsukami is held in such a high regard. This sh is simply OP. And by simply, I mean this is one of the simplest jutsu in the series. But still somehow one of the most different genjutsu in the series. Most genjutsus mess with the chakra flow of their target nervous system and that leads to their five senses being played with the kodo on the other hand is the only genjutsu that allows the user to enter directly into somebody's mind allow me to elaborate first off unlike the sukiyumi where it shines because it doesn't matter if you notice you're in a genjutsu or not the kodo and matsukami's whole thing is how hard it is to notice that you're in a genjutsu it's damn near impossible this is because all decisions and choices are controlled by the genjutsu and this is done in the most subtle way possible like changing the experiences or memories someone has basically the kodo and matsukami just makes it make sense. Let's say Danzo for some reason wants Sasuke to go to the book club after 5 tomorrow and he activates Kodo to make this happen. What the Kodo would do is alter some things in Sasuke's mind that would make him choose to go to the book club tomorrow. And that's the most dangerous part of the Jutsu. Whoever is being used on feels as if they have full control. They actually think these are their decisions because the decisions they are making make sense to them. And that's pretty much what it does. Like I said, it makes it make sense. It's so crazy that it was able to override Edo Tensei. Let me explain. You know how Shisui dies and gives his eye to Itachi. Itachi takes that eye and puts it in a crow. Now this crow's eye was set to activate whenever it comes into contact with Itachi's eyes. With only one order and that's to protect the village. Now this was originally intended for Sasuke but ended up being used on Itachi who is currently being controlled by Kabuto. Kodo and Matsukami completely overrode that Otensei and pretty much forced Itachi to protect the village. Which is why he decided to go fuck up Kabuto. Also unlike the Tsukiyomi and other Genjutsu, the Kodo requires no eye contact at all. We know this because this mother was literally covering his eyes when he used it. Now there are a few weaknesses to this jutsu and the first one is definitely outside influence. Obviously other people can notice that someone is doing funny business. We literally see it happen at the Kage summit when Danzo gets called out for trying to cheat his way to the top. Another weakness is the massive cooldown. It literally has a 10 year wait time after each use. Now that definitely sucks but if that isn't a clear indicator of how OP it is then I don't know what is. Anyways that cooldown is massively reduced if you have Hashirama cells. Literally goes from once every 10 years to twice a day. Hashirama sells that a cure to everything, I swear. Anyways, that's about it. Thanks for sticking around to the end. And as a reward, here's a personal invite to our Discord, where we talk about everything that doesn't make it into our videos. Sports debates, Naruto debates, anime talk, and much more. Link is down below. And as always, be sure to like, comment what you want to explain next, and subscribe. Boot out.